welcome by the Arcade Saga. My name is Elkiel Wiersma and today I'm going to do my first update on the self-watering mounds. So I'm very excited because there are some things happening and I think there are some very interesting things happening. So uh, we will have a look at them, but I'm planning uh, to do the, the look up, the close up of the self-watering mounds and just to look at all three of them, all three plants, what is going on later on in this video, because I also wanted to address quite some comments you did make on my first, uh, when I started this project, the first video about it, because we have some interest, interesting uh, comments there as well that I would like to share and to discuss and, and uh, about a little bit more. And also, in the meanwhile, we started with these two guys. I did find another orchid that I did uh, put on this mount as well. So we're going to look at that as well. And I'm going to uh, talk about why I have this on a mount uh, just at the others. Why I think this one is suitable, I should say. So I have my iPad here, my iPad Pro, with the actual video and with the, the comments. So I'm just going to take them in uh, the first one I see. And that is, the first one is from... Orchid's Garden in England from uh, Margaret. Um, the mounds look, uh, do look good and it will be interesting to see how quickly the roots develop and grow. Yes, and in, indeed, if you don't try anything, you will not find out. So that's basically uh, the first comment on that. So she is very interesting to see as well how they will turn out. I try not to read every comment. I'm trying to pick out uh, the most important things. There was uh, quite some uh, things that we did discuss over here, so that's very nice. But indeed, good to know. Thank you, Margaret, to, uh, to let us know that you are interested in this as well. Then we have Inter from um, Inter Orchids and ADD. Uh, yeah, he had seen a lot of these ideas, but in his case, the the problem was that the plants would stay too wet. So, um, but he is very interesting to see this as well and might uh, try this uh, this project as well. So yeah, the idea of um, the plants staying too wet, um, I think that's a little bit of different uh, from experience because I grow for self-watering for, this is my fifth year, I believe, that I uh, grow uh, uh, in semi-hydroponic setups. So I'm used to a very wet environment for my orchids. Maybe it's, that's the difference, because you grow m mainly, uh, I believe, mounds, and you use bark and, and some sphagnum moss, if I'm correct. So that may be a bit of a difference. Um, that doesn't mean that the orchids are, aren't uh, wet, but I, I um, think I'm used to this environment and how to adjust things, and how to work with the environment, basically what I'm trying to say. Um, you also did mention in, I think it's in other comments, but it's also from you that, uh, especially in summer, you are uh, oh, not really curious, but it might work for you in summer because you can then uh, leave the mounds uh, with more water in a pot so it may be easier. Because in, in summer, as we all know, things to start to dry up very quickly. Especially if you have your orchids on mounds, of course, which he does for, for a big part. So, yeah, I, I get the point and I'm really interested to see if you're going to, to uh, try this out. It would be very uh, nice to see. So I hope you do, but just have a look. If you're not into it, of course, don't do it. But I try, uh, I kind of get the, the point, the idea. It might be uh, way easier to uh, keep these guys hydrated uh, through summer to the warmer uh, days. So yeah, that's a good, uh, good idea, good comment as well. Uh, let me check. Yeah, this the next one is from Andreas. Bamka 70 I hope I pronounced the names right. I'm not completely sure. Nice project. I worked also with the Hydrolon, but above 20 to 22 centimeters, the Hydrolon was always uh, dry, like you can read on the internet. So I think you can make the poll shorter. I'm looking forward to see the progress of your project. Yes, I'm going to answer that, but I have a similar uh, answer to another comment I know, I remember, and that one is from Michael McCarthy. So I'm going to look that one up so I can answer them uh, together. Michael McCarthy. Oh, Zane, yeah, I do miss that <laughs> goofy SOB. <Yeah. laughs> we all do, we all do. Um, 
Well, his self-watering mount didn't work. The hydrogen wouldn't wick water properly on the pole. And I must, I, I, <laughs> I did laugh so much about this comment because I found this very funny. I just started a new uh, project and this is the first, uh, was one of the first comments that I did get. <laughs> So, but I didn't give up because I think, and that's why I combined these guys uh, with the other comment I just read from, um, where are you? From, uh, from Andrea, uh, about the dryness of the poles, yes. Um, but I found that, uh, luckily I do a fairly large spots. Let me lift this one so you can see it a little bit better. So I had a reservoir at this level and indeed it barely did get over uh, over here somewhere, the, the wicking, so the water. But then I just added a little bit more water and the wicking <laughs> goes up. So that's fairly easy to solve that problem. And that is what I also uh, comment on, uh, on Michael, his, uh, his reaction. Uh, that um, that I, I noticed that problem uh, with the next day or the within two days, so I could adjust it very quickly. So in this case, if you start to use the hydrolon, hydro hydrolon, uh, you might want to add a little or a, short, a shorter uh, pole. Indeed, what what Andrea said is a very good idea. So make it a bit shorter, cut it off here, or if you have a longer pole. Um, Try to get a larger pot so you can make a larger reservoir. More water will uh, let it wick better. Good comments, good comments. That's why I did uh, get my iPod because this is very interesting. But uh, like I said, it was very funny to have that as a first comment on this video. Uh, Zane's project didn't work. Well, mine <laughs> seems to work better. So let's uh, keep it at that. I'm not sure, of course, it will work, but I found it very funny. Um, so Michael, thank you. Okay, the next one. Um, yeah, people that are very interesting and to looking, uh, looking forward to updates. That's good to know. Thank you for letting me know. Um, more updates, looking forward. Yes. Oh yeah, we have, uh, then we have a comment from uh, Elzo Oostland. Uh, she al she's also from the Netherlands. I, I think her name is Els, but I'm not sure, but I know her from a Facebook gr group as well. And she started following me uh, via that Facebook group. So it's very, uh, very nice. Um, she has uh, beautiful plants as well. So uh, she's doing very well with, with her orchids. She mentioned uh, a very interesting idea as well. Um, it, it was coming sort of from uh, Inces' uh, videos. He had one of the videos where he did uh, do a mount and he used glue to secure, I believe, the um, fishing line, something like that. I'm not completely sure. Uh, Elzo did saw that video and she was mentioning, because I use glue as well, uh, if that glue, uh, it, it can be toxic. So uh, did I uh, consider that basically what is what she's saying? Well, I didn't. So that's a very, very good comment as well. I had no idea. I, I didn't even thought of it. The only thing that I did thought of was uh, it should be uh, water resistant. So I thought it, it will never mix with the water because it's water resistant. Uh, but I didn't thought it through. So maybe it still can be toxic even though it's waterproof. In my simple mind, if something is waterproof, uh, means for me, as soon as it, it is dry, and you put water on it, it will not mix with the water, but maybe it's, that's too simple. I'm not completely sure, but it's already there. Um, so I'm not sure, I have no idea, but it's a very good idea to consider. So if people watch these videos and will try uh, this out as well, uh, maybe you want to consider uh, using a toxic free glue. It's very, very, uh, very nice comment. So thank you, Eslo. And also basically Insa for that inspiring idea. If I knew it before, I definitely would use toxic free glue. Absolutely. Uh, let me check. He will, uh, yeah, Insa will follow the updates. Yes, Azula 6436. Like this idea, would be great for the climbing tendency. Yes, absolutely. That's also something to be thinking of. I don't know, yeah, you can see it. Whoops, here. This one is a very big climber, as is this one. 
So yeah, having these on poles, like uh, this is the best mounted. Well, those two are the best mounted because they are more uh, in this direction so they can climb. So that's a very, uh, very uh, good idea as well for the climbers. If it works to put them on a uh, mount, of course. And if this works, you can still have them basically in, in self-watering or a uh, semi-hydroponic setup. And, and that's, I think, the nice, a nice thing of this. So that's very, uh, very nice. A good, uh, good to add it as well. So thank you for that. Where is that comment now? That's strange. What did I do? Eslo into Zula. I'm sorry. Zula, there you are. <laughs> Zula, thank you. Thank you for mentioning it. Uh, and of course, I'm all, all, almost did forget, you mentioned something different as well, which I found perfect. It's very, very simple, but I didn't think of it. Uh, she said, uh, I think you are, I'm not sure, maybe you're here. I'm sorry. Zula Z, I should say. Um, do you think adding a layer of pebbles at the bottom of the pot, where the pipe is glued, would help to keep the pot more stable? Of course. That's perfect. So I already did it with this one. I will do the other ones uh, with you uh, together. But yeah, and it's it's uh, there's more weight to it, so it's easier to move around. And you can see the it looks more stable. This one I just touched. Maybe you notice that the pole is 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 uh, moving a little bit. I'm not necessarily sure if it's the PVC pipe that is moving, but this stuff is uh, very loose. So the hydro hydrolon is not, I tried to secure it, but it didn't work. So it's still a little bit loose as in this one, but the pipe itself has more security. And of course, uh, the base of this hydro hydrolon as well. So yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's a great idea. So simple sometimes, but uh, thank you so much for mentioning that because it's, uh, like I said, the weight, only the weight, uh, uh, works very well as well for moving it around and etc. So uh, perfect. I will do the other two like I said in a minute Let's have a look at a few comments. We have a few more. We're almost there you guys Zoom Zuna hi uh, uh, Good luck really looking forward to the, your success Thank you. That's very uh, optimistic <laughs> So that I could try to copy it well that's perfect i really hope i uh, i can inspire you guys to try this as well and of course if you do or maybe you already started or something similar please let me know in a, in a comment i would love to see it oh and before i forget i did make a um, new playlist so it's a bit easier uh, to, for you for us to find the videos and it's called Arjek, Ar arcade projects on my channel uh, and yes, projects, because there will be more, not only the cell watering amounts, but I have another project in mind for later on. But um, so if you start using or start working with a cell watering mount, it's very easy to find these videos. Go to the playlist and there's only one. And now there are two with this one and you can add your comments there. And I, I probably should find them because I'm very interesting, uh, interesting to see and to, well, actually to hear if, it, if you're going to try this, of course. Um, let me see, Debbie Lee, Lady, I have been wanting to try this. I hope it works. I do too. And uh, well, Debbie, we just discussed it. If you do, please let me know. Like your new intro, Garnet. Thank you so much. Ah, yeah, Anna Gustaf Gustafsson. I hope I pronounced it well. Uh, you could use a little glue inside the sleeve. Inside the sleeve, great idea. Um, yes, I have could done that. I said in the comment as well. I, I believe um, it may be handier if you want to if you want to clean it. Maybe you will, you will have some algae growth in there. You can take it off, but then again, you need to put it on again. Again, of course, with the arcade on. So I'm not sure. I'm not going to do that, but it could be an idea. Uh, yes, I've, so I, yeah, I basically could have put some glue on the PVC pipe and then 
put this on this hydrogen so it may stick more to the pole so that's a good idea I'm not gonna do it now because I already have these guys on there so I will probably not get it back on a on a pipe or, or break something break the arcades or new growth so I'm not going to try that but it's something uh, to mention so therefore I just uh, wanted to pick this uh, comment out as well for, for, for you guys who are going to try this you may consider if you have the non-toxic glue put something on that PVC pipe as well and uh, it should stick a little bit better that's that's absolutely true so that was the last uh, last comment so there were quite a few and it really really inspired me to uh, to make these videos thank you so much thank you so much so if you have more comments questions please leave, uh, um, leave them on these uh, these videos it's a bit easier of course for me to find um, and yes it might sound uh, very logic to put your questions about this project on here but sometimes I do get a similar question on a whole different video that's okay but it's easier to get it on a project so I, I like this video I can uh, find the comments a bit easier um, so that's uh, that were the comments I'm going to grab the camera so it's a bit easier to film and uh, let's do some updates you guys the real updates on these self-watering mounts So this is a little bit easier because we know a little bit closer and I can move the camera around but here they are uh, What I also did find that I had the name tags inside of the pot, but my uh, Stickers do not like it as you can see so I did uh, need to take them out But I will now have them in front of the pot and I will remember these guys, but it's just a bit handier uh, to have the names uh, around them and so let's start with this one. This is an, uh, the last one. I have, did make uh, three of these uh, self-watering uh, mounts, of course. But this one, this is the uh, Odontonia Viona Eisler. I did add as well. Several uh, plants in one pot. Quite some growth there, as you can see. But the thing is basically the same with the Oncidium. This one does shoot out the roots, but some way uh, are the other way around I cannot uh, keep the roots healthy or stay alive I should say they try and then they die off I get these types of roots so it's very sad and I have this plant and you can see it it's taking its toll so I need to do something about it and then I thought yeah why did I forget this one this one should be on the self mounting uh, self watering mount as well maybe the more air will help these roots and we can see we have a few that are really touching uh, the mount but this one yeah, it looks like that one is also uh, let me zoom in drying up but i'm not sure but this one is a, has a beautiful green tip and this one is looks like it's starting to grow again it's been on this mount it was a few days after the sky so it's been a little bit shorter but basically the same uh, same amount of time i think it's about a month i'm not completely sure at this moment but not that long yet so but yeah let's give this a try and this is a really climber as you can see let me check here's a bulb and you can see it's all the way up here the new growth so yeah i'm going to try it and i found it very hard to mount i wanted to mount it more diagonal horizontal i'm sorry uh, but I placed it more upwards because otherwise I, I was afraid that I would break those roots. So that's why it's basically hanging, <laughs> pushed uh, to the mount. That's why I did that. Because the, you can see this is the difference. Uh, if you mount, this is probably the best way to do it. But once again, because of the roots, I did it a bit different. So next to it, we have the Dracula Bella. We have still three new growths. We have one here and two over there that are trying to make some roots. This is an old flower spike, I should have cut it off. Let me uh, zoom in a little bit so you can see. We have some green tips there and some new roots started as it looks, yeah. But the rest is not looking that healthy, I believe. They were already uh, kind of dry is but I did leave them on so I had something to mount there but I see there in the middle of the screen you see a big piece of pumice but next to it there is a fairly 
white roots, but I that might shoot out. Who knows? Let me zoom out. I'm sorry. So yeah, not much going on here yet. It's still growing, of course, but I don't see roots really attaching to the mound. But then we come at the Ancidium varicosum, bald and black. That one is very interesting. The strangest thing is happening here. Well, it's not really strange, but... Well, first of all, look at the amount of new roots, you guys. It's absolutely crazy. I never ever had this happen before, with, especially with this one. This one was always losing the root, so therefore uh, I came up with uh, basically with this idea. Let me put it like this, so we have a better background. Uh, but you can see, it's absolutely shooting out. I'm not sure, can an orchid react to a new um, environment basically? Uh, this quickly, shooting out that many roots, maybe it could because it's already started new roots and it, it's just felt the, the change in an environment. I'm not completely sure, but what I am sure of is that I never had so many new roots starting with this one. And maybe you saw it already. I just discovered it when I did get it ready for the video that there, this grainy pointy thing there, let me put it just now in front of my finger. I hope you can see. See, that's not a root. There, there we go. That's a new growth. I had no idea. And even, whoops, don't, this one is not even matured yet. So that's new, but in here with the second one there, I see several points of new growth. This is a new growth here. Here is it one starting and there in the back you can see that pointy thing there. Let me zoom in. This one is also a new growth. So we have one there in the sheet in the back. And I'm sorry for uh, for the move, but I'm, that's because I'm zoomed in. But you can see three new growths there. That's crazy. Oh, actually, I see another one on this one as well. We have that one in the back, but here, just above my finger, that's a root there. There it is. I hope you can see it. That greeny point there is also a new growth. This looks very, very promising, doesn't it? I seriously, guys, I never had it happen. You can see how the orchid is, looks, those bulbs, very shriveled. I was always struggling with this one. So yeah, I'm not sure, but this one seems to be very, very happy. Starting to come, become very, very happy, I should say. So yeah, I'm very impressed. I, I can I can ha barely <laughs> believe it, but yeah, I've never done this before. So this is, uh, yeah, makes me happy. I hope we uh, will keep those roots happy, those new growths. And meanwhile, of course, I will uh, give them some pebbles as well. I did uh, put some here, out here already. So I do, will do one, but I have to do it with one hand. It's not ha very handy, but you can see what I'm doing. I try to film every step. So we have some pebbles. Let's uh, move them around. I'm going to turn the pot around so it's a bit easier to get some pebbles in there as well. So I'm going to grab quickly a few more. I have them down here. So there we are. So yeah, because this is our project, I want to film as much steps that we do take. <laughs> so let's move them around with my finger because we need some pebbles there. Yeah, there we go. Yes, definitely. It's way heavier, but that's very handy because it's easier to move around and the, this pole has more, is more secured down in the pot. So yeah, thank you. I believe it was Zula. Thank you so much for this idea. I already did this one. So yeah, this one can have a little bit more water. And I will do this one off camera because it's a bit easier to do it with one hand. But now you know, just that easy, just a, a layer of pebbles. I will fill the reservoirs up again. 
And yeah, this is basically the, the first update. I'm really, really impressed with, the, with this guy. This one is still continuing to grow. So let's, uh, let's hope that we'll do that. And I'm really curious to see how this one will do, because like I said, I couldn't get any roots on it, but it was the same for this one. And this one looks very promising. So you guys, this is it for, uh, for the second update. So far, um, so good. And I think I really enjoyed the look of it. And uh, I really enjoyed uh, making these videos. So if you have any questions, suggestions, please leave them in the comment section of this video so I can find them uh, really easy. And for now, this is it. But of course, we will do some updates in the new future. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't already have, maybe you want to consider subscribing to my channel and you will not miss out on these guys. <laughs> And uh, I, really, uh, I really hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye-bye.